today we're working on cutting some joist pockets. Um, sorry about the crappy lighting, all that good stuff. It is dark out, it is winter time. So, but anyhow, I've got it laid out. You probably can't see the lines. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by just cutting these two lines out right here. And then we're gonna make a bunch of kerf cuts, make it a lot easier to get this material out of here. Um, the challenge on this one, and I always seem to find them because somebody dislikes me I think big knot right here in the middle and of course it's not back here where you're gonna get a lot of curves into it it's way to hell up here so I'm gonna cut a lot of curves in this it just makes material removal a lot easier so we'll get on that and then uh, show you guys how I'm doing these um, these are probably the easiest joints in the whole project to do they're, they're not bad they're not bad they, they go pretty quickly all right, we've got our two lines right here cut. I'm going to get a chisel kerf all the way in the back of this. It'll be a lot easier to see in this lighting um, so I don't go over the line. You go over the line, it's going to look like crap because everybody walking in there is going to be able to see it. Notice I'm holding the chisel, the bevel pointed that way. The reason I'm doing that is because if I turn this over, the chisel is going to want to naturally dive in opposite of where I want it to. It's going to make the bottom of this joist pocket out of square. I want these as square as they can be because that's two inches of depth, but that's your bearing, that's your bearing surface for all the way to your second floor, your floor joist. So I get this curved out and uh, we'll knock it out of here. Of curves in these because it makes it a lot easier to break it out with the chisel. Um, you're not prying too hard on it, you're just wiggling it, and snaps it right off. Stop saying um. Uh huh. Uh huh. What are you building over there? A log cabin. Oh yeah. Yep. And I'm done with it right now. Need some more stuff? Yeah. Yay! I'm nearly done with it. You're nearly done with it, huh? Yeah, I'm nearly done. I've got a couple more like joints to do on it. Like. Yeah. Like I need it taller. Is what I need. Taller. Yeah. Let me see. All the joist notches for this side of this tie beam cut. <clears throat> it was about an hour's worth of work here. Now, like I said, they're about the easiest joints on the uh, on the whole project to do. Um, so there they are. Uh, the next video up is going to be the uh, mortise and the housing for the wall post going into the bottom of this beam. So I'll catch you then.